Of course, you can make entire vehicles, weapon systems, really any sort of organic-y complex shape you want or hard surface shapes that you want using Project Primitive. You can also use that to make subtle or extreme changes to pre-existing objects. What I'm going to do is hit the comma key, go into Tool, actually let's go into Project, and we'll go ahead and take that demo female head again, turn off Floor, hit W, and now let's go ahead and do Project Primitive. So in this one, we already have the sphere in there, so you can go and take the sphere and just make all sorts of changes. So you can make the sphere larger or smaller. You can scale it non-uniformly. Of course, you can clip these things back and start getting this type of look. So you can start doing maybe some helmet designs or some maybe some creature studies here. So if we take this sphere and we kind of rotate it back a little bit, and then we hit accept, and then we can continue rotating the sphere around scaling it in and of course always remember you can change the blend amount so if you really crank it up you can get a nice fin back here and then if you change that blend property or going into the maximum displacement and seeing if there's any sort of shape changes you want there and mixing that with the opacity you can really dial in some good looking shapes and we'll go ahead and hit accept here and we'll go ahead and put this off to one side and then we'll say X symmetry Go ahead and move and rotate these shapes around. So you can see very quickly, even with pre-existing assets, you can get some really interesting shapes and designs going. Even if it's you know creature work or if it's helmet work, you want to start making helmets, you can very quickly go through here, playing with the different shapes and fall-offs and blends and dialing in the proper look you're going for. So let's go ahead and say, let's do a full reset. And now this time, I'm going to pull out this shape. So you can use it to do kind of caricature work here. Say accept. And then for maybe the jaw back here, let's change the shape. Let's go back to new surface. And instead of a square, or instead of a sphere, let's go ahead and change maximum displacement back down to one. We'll make this into kind of a soft square. And then we'll go back into new surface of zero. We can pass this through, we can scale it out. And if you want to, you can go through here and you could taper these things off or you can slowly start clipping them back. And you remember you can hold down shift and do both sides here and go as extreme or as subtle as you want to to get that final look you're going for. I'm gonna load up something we've been working on on our live stream. So let's say I wanted to kind of play a little, with, a little bit with the formers on this armor here. We'll go down to the very bottom here, we'll go ahead and delete the Z spheres out of here. And the rest of this is just polygons. There's a Z plugin I have called Clean Tool Master. I'm going to run dynamic subdivisions to real geometry on all of my subtools here. I'm going to tap Alt, get rid of this body, and then with just the armor showing, I'm going to do a quick merge visible. Then I'm going to select the body, go to my armor here, go to append, append that body back in, and then I can go back to my original subtool and I can hit delete all to get rid of all those. So now just these armor pieces showing, I'm going to go into solo mode here, hold down control shift, go into select lasso, go ahead and grab all the helmet, do control shift A, control shift drag to make sure I got the entire helmet, and then we'll go ahead and do a split hidden. I'm going to hit W, hold down alt and just drag it in the middle, then hold down alt again just to make sure I can have the gizmo on my screen. Hold down alt, go to the unmatched mess center, go into my deformers here, we'll do remesh by decimation. I'm going to change my target polygon count to say maybe around 100k. I think that'll work. Hit accept. Alt tap the geometry for the armor down here. Do the exact same thing or you can do it manually if you want to. You can go to decimation master and for this one we'll go ahead and do it the preset for 150k. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and alt tap that helmet again. We'll go back into the deformers We'll do project primitive, turn off polyframe. And now as I move this one around, oops, you see I'm able to make subtle changes in here. Let's go ahead and do a full reset. So we'll start back out that sphere. And as I enlarge the sphere and pass it around my helmet, you're gonna see I can make slight changes to the overall shape, see if anything catches my eye. And of course the exact same thing with the body armor or even going down here to the original body and doing 
project deformations on that.